Toya and Jakob, you are together for 15 years now, musically, I mean. <laughs> and you have six wonderful CDs out. It's a long time that you are together, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> I guess we fell in love musically. You really? So we can't be apart. Wow. Mm -hmm. How did you get to know each other? Uh, I had a gig in uh, London, actually, for one whole week. And my uh, original piano player at that time wasn't available. So Jacob sub for him, and then magic was done. And since then we haven't been apart. Wow. But you have your own projects beside the uh, bands with Victoria, do you? Yeah, I play with, um, with my trio. Talk of Cosmos 3, and we uh, we are uh, releasing a new album now uh, in um, late August uh, that will be released on Hype Records. album that you have is a duo album, just the two of you. And you have songs from Alison Morissette, you have some from Peter Gabriel, from Stevie Wonder, Cole Porter as a classical jazz standard, and Gabriel Fauré. So there are no frontiers between pop music, no jazz, no other serious music. Is this the concept or is it just the, the melodies that inspired you? We, um we decided to do um, we decided to do a duo album, and we <clears throat> we just wanted to to record songs that we liked, and we uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, references in, in common, I would say, and uh, on the other hand, we uh, have a lot of uh, differences between us as well. I mean, we we we, th we think uh, we think differently about some. Some stuff, actually, it's hard to believe, but that's uh, that's actually a fact. And this made a kind of really nice blend where we just met and went through a lot of songs, discussed what kind of songs we could do, and and uh, started to play and got ideas. And um, from that on, it was it was easy because it's uh, it's always been easy with this lady because uh, there is a kind of uh, I would write a song that's called Nature Girl that will be dedicated to her uh, <laughs> because it's it's uh, a kind of very fluid natural feel for uh, for time for pitch for a musical um, uh, homogenic thing and I would say that of course you can you can record a duo album but you can't record a duo album with with anyone and uh, with this kind of uh, with this kind of work together, there's almost a kind of telepathic way uh, of, of of doing this together. And um, I talked to to a journalist uh, yesterday who said that he really felt like we were painting uh, painting together with uh, just one brush. You're thinking of your latest device As if love was some kind of war Sometimes you try to be tender and nice Sometimes you lose your temper and slam the doors You say I'm only thinking about my life and that Jacob said that he would like to life. compose a song for you, Natural Girl. How do you regard him? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, he's the most easy, uh, most talented piano player I've ever sang with because he, I mean, he hears everything, every breath, every breath I take, no, every breath I take, actually. Uh, you hear and you you respond immediately, and that's what's music about. I think to listen to each other and to 
to do create something together. So I'm never afraid uh, of doing whatever comes into <laughs> into my head because you are always there. <laughs> When you come to the point where um, you have to choose the melodies, the songs, who's going to take the responsibility? Uh, for, for, for choosing the songs, you mean? I think we, um, I think we share that responsibility because we have to, we have to add uh, stuff to our repertoire, and uh, I think that this is this is in a way, in the same way as we, um, as we play music together, that, that we, uh, the energy has to come from, from both directions, so to speak. When I started to play uh, with, with singers, I was always told by, their, by the singers' teachers that you have to be very careful now. <laughs> you have to be extremely careful because, you know, singing is really, really difficult. It's really difficult because it's like you don't press any keys or whatever. It's just like, you know, the voice and it's e extremely sensible and and all the vocalists I played with at that time was very aware of how difficult it was to sing and so they had three scarves each <laughs> and they had uh, this uh, apple cider vinegar to be absolutely sure that they didn't get a cold but they have PMS instead constantly and this kind of thing made it very, very difficult to play with them, actually. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, there comes this nature girl again. And um, I was shocked because I, for that time, I played with saxophone players who were more out of pitch than she was. And I, I never thought about that, that it was, that anything was difficult for her. And, yeah, and it's the same time, it's the same thing still. I think it was like, um, yeah, just on concerts ago, she, Victoria, took a note that I haven't heard any, I didn't know it existed, actually. Uh, this kind of uh, high note that only dogs react to because it's so <laughs> high. You know? and, and those kind of things uh, are extremely important when you, especially when you work in this kind of small setting where it could be in a very special way, and, and, and uh, you just decide that, okay, it's a duo, now we're going to hear something really soft or whatever. So we share this kind of, of um, responsibility for everything we do.